Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. This tutorial assumes that you have already installed the MetaMask Chrome extension and added the Theta Network uh, to it. Okay, step one is you need to go to VaultSwap.Finance and on the left you'll see the menu. It's how you navigate around the site. By default we're on Home, which is the swap portion of it as you can see over here on the right so the first thing that you need to do is decide which liquidity pool you want to join and provide liquidity and so the way you do that is you come down here to earn click on earn and then you would click on farm and that opens up this page over here on the right where you can scroll and you can see each of the pairs and if you look at them it'll show you the estimated APR if you provide liquidity with that particular pair. The very first one that I did was this T-Fuel Volt pair and it's paying an estimated APY of 66% and if, if you look up through these they're different there's some like this one here if you provide liquidity with a T fuel meter governance token that's paying 112 percent APY so if you go up here to BUSD dash volt that's another one that I'm in the estimated APY on that one is 153 percent and if you go up here to USDC dash BUSD those are both stable coins and the advantage to that it's estimated 63% APY but the advantage to providing liquidity with stable coins on both sides of the pair is there's no impermanent loss because they are both stable coins the impermanent loss happens when the value of the pair that you create changes goes apart or one of the coins goes up in value the other one maybe goes down in value or, or whatever so that's where you will see this thing called impermanent loss so you have to kind of factor that in but you know if you're in one that has a pretty high APY the impermanent loss is likely offset by the high APY that you're getting there's a number of good videos out there that explain the impermanent loss and, and what that is and, and uh, what causes it but I'm not going to go into detail on that here so again the first step is you looking at these different pairs and the APY that they pay and deciding which one you want to get into to provide liquidity so that's the first thing once you've made that decision the next thing that you need to do is go over here to swap and this is where you will swap some of your T fuel. So if I choose T fuel as my first one and it shows me that I have 1975 T fuel available to me. So if I click that as the top one and then down here I would choose what do I want to swap for and BUSD that's a Binance stable coin so that's uh, and I've got a tiny bit of that but not much um, BUSD okay so now that I've chosen the two uh, coins and it's shown me my balance of uh, T fuel here I need to decide how much of that I want to swap for the BUSD. 
So I'm going to go with uh, roughly half of that. I need to leave a little bit for fees and such. So 900, 950. So for 950 T fuel, I will get 165 BUSD. So BUSD figure that's a dollar and and so it's basically 5 T fuel to 1 BUSD. Yeah, it's 5.75. See, it shows down here 5.75 T fuel to 1 BSD. So if I want to do that swap, I would simply click on swap. And this is where it gives me the, uh, the stats and so forth. So I'd click on confirm swap and it's going to pop up my MetaMask wallet. Okay, go down here and click on confirm. So now I can close that. And now I have done the swap, so I've got some T fuel and I've got some BUSD. And that's just a status message showing that I've got 165 BUSD. Now, the next step is you go over here to pool and you create a pair. So you click on create pair, pops this up. Gives you some information and you select this is the one half of the pair that you want to create so T fuel and then the see it's I haven't chosen the other one that's why it's saying invalid pair so now I want to choose the other half of the pair and I have to find it. BUSD. Yep, there it is. It says I've got 165. So now I've chosen the two sides of the pair. And you would go over here to max. And so it's showing up above that based on I want the max of US uh, U, or uh, BUSD that uh, it's going to be 951 T fuel these pairs the, the when you create a pair the dollar value on each side of the pair has to be equal so click supply and then confirm supply and again, it's going to pop up the MetaMask wallet. Ignore that uh, squeaking noise in the background. That's the cat playing with his toy. Well, it's being slow this morning. Usually this happens almost instantly. So I don't know why it's taking so long. But we'll just have to go with it, I guess. Okay, confirm. And then close that. And it just gives you some information. Gives you a status message. And now the next step is to actually stake that. So let's go over to farm again. And because I created a T Fuel BUSD pair, I need to. There it is, T Fuel BSD pair. So I go over here, I click Detail. Okay, and the final step, after you've did your swap and then you created your liquidity pair, is you come in here to the farm page, and as you can see, this is one that I'm already in. It pays 72% APY. 
my multiplier is currently 1.4x and I have earned since I joined this one I have earned 10.21 volt in rewards so the final step to add some liquidity is to scroll down and it shows here that what I currently have in the liquidity pool is equal to one thousand and forty dollars and ninety six cents and that my share of the pool before adding more liquidity which is what I'm going to do next is 0.23 percent and the staked LP is 1,221.92 and as you can see down here at the bottom shows my wallet balance is 390 and that is the liquidity pair that I just created and we are about to add it to this liquidity pool so I'm gonna go over here and click max which will pop everything that's in that wallet down here into the amount okay and then I'm going to go over here and I am going to click on stake and it's going to pop up my wallet again it's the MetaMask wallet shows this processing and eventually the MetaMask wallet is going to want me to sign the transaction. Being slow this morning, this usually is pretty quick. Okay, the effect of adding more liquidity to this pool is my multiplier which was 1.4 is now 1.3 and that's because I added and I guess it kind of blends it reduces your multiplier because you added more and I guess it averages them together or something but if I scroll down it shows now that the value of my liquidity is 1,373 and I now have 0.30% of the pool and the staked liquidity is 1,612 so that is the way that you add liquidity to vault swap well, that's a wrap for this presentation, so cue the music.
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me. And I'll see you in the next video.